most of the song, um, the I Like to Make Stuff group, and I got a lot of questions about it. Um, I'm going to take it apart to show you real quick what it, basically what it is, what it consists of, and I'll make a, probably a full, um, build video. Uh, I want to make another one. Um, this is just for my outfeed table, um, for my table saw and stuff. Uh, I just set all this up and I, I wanted a vise right here on the end. I like to work in this spot a lot. So, anyways, let me go ahead and take this apart and show you how this works. It clamps up to seven and a half inches. It'll clamp out that far. You have these two guide rails and then the actual screw. And this is threaded rod, you, three quarter inch threaded rod that you can pick up, you know, at the big box store. And then just a pipe fitting, um, a T. It's a half inch by three quarter by three quarter. And I just turned this dial down close to seven eighths, I think. Or I turned, uh, started with the same, it's the same piece of wood that this is from. Um, the, the, the jaws of the vise um, had uh, like six quarter piece of oak. And I just cut it up and planed it and everything and made it, you know, the size I needed. And then what I had left was uh, what I turned this on. And then the pieces of mahogany for the end. This one's epoxied on. This one's just screwed on. That way, if I ever need access, I can just uh, okay, unscrew so this it. Is, this is the back of the vise. I'm not going to take it apart. Um, I'll show you. Basically, there's the guide hole, guide hole. And these are actually rails for... Uh, porch like porch porch ballasts I uh, did a job a deck job and I had a bunch of these left over and since these were smoother than the conduit I wanted to go ahead and use these now conduit will serve the same purpose um, I lube a lot of it with Vaseline and then the gear or not the gear but the metal parts uh, I'll put a dry lube on that is just a three-quarter nut that I hex nut that I drilled out the hole for in the back and then I chiseled out a pattern to match uh, and then just hammered it in these rails uh, I just drilled their the hole uh, which is I think this is th three quarter maybe I don't remember if it was five eighths or three quarters anyways the the hole that you need whatever size that is I just drilled it out and put epoxy in there also on this portion um, this happens to thread into this threaded rod perfectly. That's why I got a half inch. Let me take this off. I got a half inch T because it, it fits that perfectly. So it's just a little one inch. And this comes off. <clears throat> and, you know, I just drilled that out to where it was like a tenon. So it would fit in to the mortise. So that gives it that extra strength. And then just screws in you know countersink pre-drill and put the screw in pretty simple where the t goes um what i did is to stop it is i just drilled a hole and threaded it well technically i didn't even have to tap it um you could tap it if you want um but i didn't find it necessary i just used a wood screw and that'll last for ever you know it, it's not gonna be an issue but basically what I did is I found that the threads on these fittings on a half inch fitting will fit a three-quarter uh, piece of threaded rod perfectly um, and that's kind of what I did there so I you know just put that on drilled out that hole and then put this uh, screw in this uh, set screw basically is what I'm using it for. I only used one washer actually. I think I posted that I used two, but I actually only used one. Or maybe I didn't even post it. I don't know. But here, I'm here to clear it up now. <laughs> now, this is just a regular washer. Um, for the three quarter they to sell at the big box store. Um, what I did is I just drilled a bunch of holes um, and then countersunk them so the screws would not interfere with the T 
so those go in and sit flush with the uh, with the lip there or with the uh, washer and really all the mechanism is this uh, anyways um, the reason this looks so rough is it's got Vaseline in there and the screws catch just the edge of this uh, basically I just routed out uh, drilled a drilled a hole through the center um, to match the threaded rod then I drilled a hole that would accommodate this nut now this was a, a, a hex nut originally this was a heck just a regular nut um, and what I did is I ground it down it's fairly simple just put it on the threaded rod and go back and forth that's all that is <clears throat> and it's just basically I ground it down to be perfectly circular um, so that way it wouldn't catch on the inside of that cavity right there. Um, and then once I got it down to the size I needed, um, I drilled a hole right here. You can see it's not, the hole isn't that big. It's the hole is about the size of a 16 penny nail. Uh, I drilled it almost all the way th through the shaft. Um, I stopped before I went to the other side. And the reason I did that is because I wanted I put epoxy in there and I put a nail and then I cut the nail and I pounded it until it mushroomed over the side. And really that's all the mechanism is. And I don't think this oak's gonna wear too fast for me to be worried with it. Um, I, I imagine I'll get a lot of use out of this thing before it, it wears out because a lot of the bearing surface is very smooth um, and it, it's well lubricated and most of the bearing that's happening is happening on this sh this sh this portion right here um, and whenever it does wear out the next bearing portion is going to be on this threaded rod so that it'll take a long time for it to actually wear out but this is like the simplest and easiest way i've found to make <clears throat> a vice and it works really well. Uh, it, it suits all my needs. Anyway, so I'll put this all back together.